So tonight, let's talk about the guitars. Yeah. So uh, top of the show, Artisan Majesty yeah. 7. Yeah, that's all normal. Keep yeah. that normal. So we'll do 15, and yeah. then we'll go back to the Majesty yeah. there. Are all the guys here? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, I know. You know, I see this really cool parallel between developing a line of guitars and the succession of all our albums leading up to the astonishing. With each tour, you learn more about tone, you learn more about writing, about playing, what works, what doesn't work. And all the decisions and lessons we learned along the way really lead to this guitar, which is the greatest instrument on the planet. I've always been a, a fan of, of storytelling. Um, I've infused a lot of storytelling into Dream Theater songs over the years. Um, in, in some of our, our longer, kind of more epic songs, but, but never in this fashion where there's a complete story and where the music is scored to the story. So in the story of the, the Astonishing, you know, 300 years roughly from now, um, you know, the idea is what, what would happen to a society where people no longer had that outlet of creative expression, that music was, you know, automated, made by machines. What would the music sound like? And it was up to uh, a musical savior who was born to kind of bring people out of this, uh, this slumber. As you're developing, you know, what it is that you want to do great, you want to be great at, there there definitely is this, this 10,000 hour rule, uh, an unwritten rule that you need to put in um, in order to, to get to that point where, you know, you reach kind of the ultimate pinnacle. Um, and that is true with the majesty. All these years I've been playing, all of these hours, um, all the different guitars that that uh, we've come up with um, with Music Man throughout the years, and then all of the albums and tours that those guitars became a part of, and all the feedback, really led up to building the Majesty. So it was, you know, to the point where how could we take everything that we learned, keep that intact, but design the guitar and create something that's very different. The design really focuses on making the guitar something that really gets out of your way in, in so many ways and lets you just be the, the best guitar player that you could be. We've come to these conclusions as far as neck carve and control position, uh, you know, the way the pickups are, are mounted, the bridge, everything like that. But let's really like take it to the next level as far as design and create something that nobody has done before. It's very, very performance-minded. That, that's greater than the thing that you're actually doing together. It's, it's the people who are involved. I love the fact that throughout the years, um, Ernie Ball Music Man has stayed in the United States, that uh, I love coming out to California and, and seeing 
um, the factories and the, and the people that work there and the connection that they have and the pride that they have in, in building these instruments. You know, seeing somebody hand sanding or putting the frets in the guitar, picking out the piece of wood, and then, you know, going to another room and seeing uh, this incredibly programmed robotic and then going to another stage and somebody putting the electronics and taking the care in. And meanwhile, you know, Sterling knows everyone's name who's doing it. Um, it there's just, there's nothing like that. And uh, I think that the instruments that come out of that reflect, you know, the care and the quality, and the history, and the importance of uh, wanting to be your best, you know, wanting to create something that's not just a guitar, but that's an instrument of inspiration, you know, for anyone who tries it. Yeah, 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 yeah